we are given the graph of a trig function, we need to determine the function. So this type of shape usually should be the function secant x or cosecant x. Now we know cosine function has some y-intercept, but sine function doesn't have. We are given a point here which is 2 comma 3, so the secant function passes through the point 2 comma 3, so cosine function must through that point also. So if the cosine function goes like this with a vertex at 2, 3, we can clearly see this is amplitude of cosine function. So let me consider the cosine. So I am identifying the vertices through which the cosine function will pass, so three units. So we have one here, and one here, and one here. And then these are the zeros, because there we see vertical asymptote on secant function. So the cosine function actually going like this when you have magnitude just three, the regular one, like that. But then we see that our cosecant, sorry, secant function is not here. It is going down. So that means I have to put my function here, y equals negative three cosine. Now we need to see what is the period. As we mentioned, the distance between these two vertical asymptotes, two units. So then we can say for the period, we'll write double of it, which is two times two, this is four, and from these, the period is two pi over b. Now if you do the cross multiplication, four b equals two pi, then you will find your b equals pi over Two. And the cosine function actually with a negative sign it is going like this. It has a reflection. So this one is the function here and since we got period is pi by 2 then you can put pi by 2 x. And here's no shifting vertical horizon so c equals 0 and d also equals 0. So this is the cosine function we have here. I'm sorry, this one here, upside down, because it has a reflection. Now this is the second function here. How do you derive the second function? It's very simple. You can just write here y equals negative three, and then cosine put in the denominator, pi by two x. We know that this one is negative three, secant pi by 2x, that one is exactly the blue graph. And we are done. Now we'll see this one in the calculator. I type the function here, negative three cosine pi x over two. And then we graph this one with the window. Here we have negative four to four. And if you count those things, you'll see negative nine to positive nine. So there I'm fixing window negative 4 to 4 and negative 9 to 9. And then graph this one. You see the perfect matching with the blue graph. So that's why the function for this blue graph will be y equals negative 3 secant pi by 2 x. We are done. Someone can do this one also in terms of sine function. So in that case, sine function, function will have some shifting horizontal. So c will have some value, but no vertical shifting. 